guys and welcome to another YouTube video with me, your host Dami, aka Sculptor by D. Oh as you can oh tell, I'm with my model, my sister, and yes, we're gonna create a gorgeous soft glam look. So just to start off with, I'm taking the MAC Fix Plus spray and giving the skin a nice hydrated base. Going in with a primer. This is a gorgeous primer because it has some gold reflective bits and it's going to come through when you put the makeup on. I had, <laughs> I want more primers, I want more glow so I added this Becca primer. I now I'm applying the foundation. Um, it's a bit brighter because we just want it to blend in with the neck and the chest. And taking the Fix Plus spray again to rehydrate the skin. I used this colour in the concealer because I wanted to do a, color, a bit of colour correcting. I wanted a perfected base. Using a slightly brighter concealer, I'm taking the NARS Soft Matte one which is a gorgeous one because it really just blends out so effortlessly. And I'm taking that on the high points of the face and defining the nose. I'm taking the same shade but in a different formula from NARS and this is just to add a bit more coverage and blend and again rehydrating it so that it blends out effortlessly. Taking my time with this so not rushing it. I'm going to go in with a slightly brighter colour just to give the skin a bit more dimension and again blend that out. So going in with the Bobbi Brown foundation stick, I'm just going to use that to add a bit more definition to where the cheeks are, underneath the chin and a bit on the forehead. I'm blending that out with my synthetic brush. Making sure that there's no creasing under the eyes, I'm pressing in my translucent powder, again where I've placed the concealers. And again, I'm not packing too much, just light um, layers at a time. Setting all that work with the mineralized powders. This is a gorgeous powder because it has like a really subtle glow. It's gorgeous on the skin. Taking just a brown to give the nose a bit of definition. Nice subtle nose contour. And then I'm just going to mute out the colors of the lid using my concealer and then using the beauty blender just to blend that out. Now I'm taking the Inglot shadow, just a dark plum one, just to give the eyes a bit more definition and I'm going in with the crease. And to prevent any fallout, I'm just taking a bit of the loose powder and pressing that under the eyes. Taking a, a fluffy brush and just blending out the edges and then re-intensifying it, going in with a deeper colour in the crease. I'm using some glitter glue and I just like to use this one just to make sure the eyeshadow sticks and the colour comes off a lot more intense. And I'm taking the brown eyeshadow that I used earlier and just to blend out the edges of that and going in on the third third of the eye. I wanted to add a bit more definition to the look so I'm going with red, more of a burnt orange look into the crease and again I'm blending that out using my brush and I'm taking the same eyeshadow that I used in the crease and I'm using that under the waterline and taking black to define the waterline. Using um, my Inner Mascot Gel Eyeliner, I'm using that to give the, just to give a soft wing, not a bit too dramatic. Using the Eye Love Pencil, I wanted to create just a soft brown, not a bit too dramatic, and I'm using that and slowly building the colour, then taking the LA Pro Girl Concealer and just to give it a bit more shape, sharpness than dimension. Using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, I'm just using that to set anywhere where I put the brighter concealer and just to enhance the look a bit more. Using my bronzer, just a bit, a bit more warmth to the skin and tie everything together. Then I'm taking the darker shadow, more the plum one, just to give the face a bit more definition. Again, setting my powder and getting ready for the highlighter, guys. So this is the MAC highlighter, unfortunately, it is discontinued, but it's a nice, subtle, beautiful glow. We're taking two Inglot eyeshadows and creating a really warm blush. Then going in with my mascara, getting ready for the lashes. I'm using Tati Lashes in TL6. I wanted to add a bit more definition to the brow, so I'm taking the Anastasia Brow Palette and I'm using the LA Pro Girl Concealer and just to reshape the brows a bit more. Bottom and top to really carve out the desired shape that I'm after. And again, just blending that out. Taking chestnut lip pencil just to give the lips a bit more definition. Then I'm going in with the liquid lipstick from Matte from Mac, 
just a nice matte one which is a really pretty nice neutral color for deeper skin tones and then my favorite kiko lip gloss to finish that off and yes that's the final look guys thank you so much for watching and tuning in don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you on the next one Mwah.